what are you thinking about lisa i'm just absorbing it all and thinking it all makes a hell of a lot of sense really um i loved the zen piece that you put through i thought that was beautiful mm. um something that i do try i don't know if i meditate while i'm cleaning but it is <laughs> It's done quite a bit of a rush job, something that resonated well with me. Um, and the backpack idea, you know, we all have baggage, whatever kind of baggage it is, that we carry through life with us. And it is about putting the importance, for me it is anyway, about what, you know, what's in the backpack shapes who we are. But we can put importance on different items within that pack and that's who we present ourselves as you know the contents make us who we, who we are but yeah we can present ourselves positively or keep hankering um after things that are deep and dark within that backpack that you know maybe we do need to let go of that's that's just what i've got out of this and um yeah very 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 awesome talk thank you <laughs> So there's a really wonderful resource by a woman called Jean Elizabeth Clark. Her book is called Growing Up Again, and it's a workbook to help you think through who you want to be now. The second thing is that there's a lovely book called My Star Daddy, and it's written for children whose dads are not perfect, which in fact could be for all of us. The other resource that I'd like to share with you is a, a woman who has a, pro, a website called Grief Relief, and she's based in, in New Zealand here, but she's developed a, a kit, a grief relief kit. And it has a whole series of things in it, including a journal and some stones and a grief oil that um, is absolutely wonderful. I've used it myself and you pop a couple of oil, oil drops on your, uh, and you pop it down your chest and it's got this amazing flavor to it and it, it really helps to calm and so yeah so you could go on to her website called grief relief and especially in this time of social distancing instead of being able to send flowers it's more of a lasting gift so um i'll, I'll share that information with kathy and she can share it out with everybody courage is believing in yourself and building your potential doing what you want and trusting yourself to make the right decision. Sitting in the driver's seat and taking control of your life. Making your own decisions and being honest with yourself and others. Accepting changes and flowing with them. Dealing with your problems and asking others, offering your opinions and communicating your fears and doubts accepting abundance and allowing yourself to succeed, trying again, doing new things, loving yourself and others unconditionally. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Namaste. <laughs> so thank you, Kathy, for setting this up and thank you everybody for being here today and for sharing your resources. So thank, thank you very much. You. And the other thing is that if, if you do have friends or family who need a chat, then I'm available to have that chat. If people want a bit more at this time, then I'm very happy to offer a 50% discount because no one's got any money for this. We didn't, we didn't budget for it. Well, none of us planned to have a COVID-19 sort of shutdown everywhere. No. No, mm. absolutely. Well, thank, thank you. you. And uh, have a wonderful day, everybody. Yes. Thank you very much for joining us. Bye bye. Thank, thank bye. you. Bye. Thank you.